Aloha, I'm Kalei Miller and welcome to Ocean Paddler. On today's episode, we head to the west side of Oahu for the Brother Mel's Waterman Surfing Championships. Makaha is the ultimate playground for surf craft and this iconic event attracts the best of the best from Hawaii and around the world. But first, we head to Oahu's South Shore. It's here that during summer months, giant swells can roll in and awaken a surf spot known as castles. on the south shore of Oahu here today. South swells up. We're about to paddle our four-man surf canoes out to a spot outside the reef called Castles, which is one of the few waves that can handle the south swells when they get over five feet. We had, I think, three or four really good swells, a couple standout swells that we were able to get out there and have some fun with. Uh, there's not many people that go out there and ride these big waves, and I guess I'm just an adrenaline junkie that likes to drop in on these big waves and challenge myself along with my paddling teammates. Castles is a very unique spot in Waikiki because it breaks out in the real deep blue water. Because it's so deep, it doesn't start breaking until it's at least six, eight foot Hawaiian. It was known as Kalehuavehe back in the day. There was a ride that uh, Duke Kanamoku did from Kalehuavehe and stepped off on the beach in Waikiki. So it's always been a thrill to take the canoes out and see how long of a ride if we could ever replicate what Duke has done. Canoe surfing is all fun and games until um, a good wipeout in those bigger waves. The canoe weighs anywhere from 200 to 300 pounds, so when you do wipe out, that canoe is passing over you pretty quickly, and I've been grazed by it a few times, and if that thing hits you, it can break bones or even kill you. And one of the biggest fears you have when you kick out of a wave yeah, coming through Publix is that you hope the next one's not bigger. And we're just scrambling to get out. And in the end, I hear Uncle Jim yelling, we're gonna make it, don't bail, we're gonna make it. The next thing I know, my nephew's diving out of the canoe, the whole wave's barreling over. My brother-in-law ducks down and hides behind the front yako. And so I dive out of the canoe. Then out of nowhere, the canoe pops up 50 yards inside of me. And I'm like, is my brother-in-law still in the canoe? And up he pops out of the canoe. And I'm dying laughing. When you get out to Castles, I think the goals out there are obviously to catch a, a big wave and trying to emulate the famous Duke ride where he was said to have ridden all the way to Queens Beach would be pretty amazing. So far, I've only been able to make it to the Waikiki Wall. So for me to make it past Publix is always one of my short-term goals. You know, it's a real special moment when you can do it. Very rarely does it happen. This year, we were able to get a wave all the way through Publix and as we were coming to the beach, as you can imagine, it's Waikiki. There's tourists everywhere that are boogie boarding on the inside by the wall. And the boys in front were like, no, no, we're not gonna make it. We're gonna run these people over. And I was like, no, it's a unique opportunity. They'll get out of the way. And 
just didn't work out, so we ended up having to kick out of the way of about 10 feet short of the beach. So it doesn't really count, but it's pretty dang close and just a fun ride to do every summer if you can. It's really special. Next, more canoe surfing action from Oahu's South Shore. At Maui Gym, we're inspired by color, driven by clarity, and dedicated to improving your view no matter your vision. Our prescription sunglasses are the most technologically advanced available and are 10 times more accurate than those produced by conventional labs. Our Polarized Plus 2 technology enhances color and blocks harmful rays, while our digital processing allows for the widest possible field of vision. Speak to your eye care professional and discover greater clarity with Maui Gym. The view is better from here. Hawaii is one of the most unique places in the world. The ocean is our playground and the health of our coral reefs is critical to a balanced environment. All good reef friendly sunscreens are good for you and for our reef ecosystems. What goes on your body goes in your body and into the ocean. I'm Dave Kalama. We all choose all good reef friendly sunscreens. We hope you will too. Fresh fish straight from the auction, delivered every day to Kailua. And prepared just for you. Ono grinds and good times. Come and have a good time at Nico's. Growing up, I felt like I had to fit a mold and I was never allowed to be me. I wanted them to be free, to be happy, and to know that they were loved unconditionally. My family always raised me to, to think for myself, choose my own path, and fight for it if I have to. Today we're happy to share a really cool story with you. Waterman Kimo Austin had a special wish for his 83rd birthday. He wanted to canoe surf a giant summer swell with his son and his grandson. So let's catch up with three generations of the Austins as they drop into the big stuff. I'd have to say that probably the most special canoe surfing event was this past summer. My dad had been driving me nuts for months of, I want to take three generations of his grandson, myself, and him out canoe surfing at Castles. And I sat there and thought about it for a little while and I was kind of hesitant, you know? Biggest worry factor on my part was you don't want to kill your dad dropping in on a big wave at Castles. So we got everything set up and it just so happened on July 14th, my dad's 83rd birthday of all things, he got the swell of his dreams. And we all kind of talked about, you know, that'd be a phenomenal thing for you to have dad as a family. And it's really neat to see multiple generations continue to carry that on. I remember as a kid watching my dad surf and be in the water and think, you know, gosh, that looks big, but I, I don't want to go out there. And now as a mom, uh, yeah, there are definitely moments where I think, okay, really, what did we get ourselves into? So we got the wheels in motion. Jim was going to get a jet ski. So we were all set. I knew at very least if something happened, I had my grandson and I could still swim a couple miles on my own. It was always just an idea. And then I kind of got a phone call from Uncle Jim and saying uh, pretty big swells coming down south. And we're <laughs> get ready, boy, because we're going. <laughs>
got about, oh, I want to say five or six really nice ones. And with Jim's carbon fiber canoe, different from fiberglass canoe, so maneuverable. Man, it was super cool. It was really critical, too. We had a couple waves where I was standing out on the side of the boat, not even in the boat, just to keep the ama down, because we were just at that steep of an angle. So we got some great warm up waves, got the canoe, and then we sat there for a while and basically the set of the day came and it was like, we gotta go. And I remember looking back at the wave and just yelling, go big boys. It was pretty big sized wave. Maybe not the biggest I've ever been, but amongst the better days I've been out there. We dropped in and I knew we were too far behind the peak. So I tried to highline it immediately and just try and make it across the face as much as we could, and we were making a good line, and then I looked over and I started to see it, the face of the wave started to come down the line, and I was just like, there's no way we're gonna make it. As soon as I went out, I felt the wave come over me instantly, and I popped up and just started looking around. I think about two seconds later, I see his head pop up and his fins are just gone. There was no gasp for air or frightened face or anything. It was big smile, just, oh. <laughs> it was really cool to see. And so I told Jim I was okay. Alkina was right there. About that time, the jet ski shows up. So with my paddle in the hand, I got on the boogie board and I was on the beach in two minutes. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, we'll just take him to the beach, yeah? It's something I'll remember for the rest of my life. I mean, everything my dad's taught me. He grew up in the water and then basically passed it, all his knowledge on to me. And it was really fun. Papa was super stoked. I, I don't think I'd seen a smile on his face that big in a long time. Got you in walking in. That was a good right? birthday present. I know. How are you, <laughs> Go, go, go. Here it comes. Hold big, boys. Yes. Team left. Next, we head over to Makaha for the Brudamel's Waterman Surfing Championships. For over 15 years, the Kona Brew Pub in Coco Marina is the favorite local restaurant right on the water in beautiful Hawaii Kai. Music, entertainment, ono food, friendly staff, and a variety of refreshments. The Kona Brew Pub in Coco Marina. Kulakai, Hawaii's leading waterman company offering premium surf and paddle products since 1997. If the ocean is your passion, we have you covered with hundreds of products from surf trunks to four-man canoes. Come check us out at our Hilo store or our brand new flagship location at Kings Village on the Big Island. Hulakai, the ocean is our passion. Once a year, watermen and women from around the world join legendary lifeguard Mel Pu'u for a weekend of fun in the surf at Makaha Beach. We're talking, of course, about Brother Mel's Waterman Surfing Championships.
at beautiful Macaw Beach with uh, Brother Mel's 14th Annual Waterman's Championship. I mean, it's just magical out here. I mean, this is a gem. This point break is really like no other that we have in Hawaii. And you know, these Makaha locals are just so blessed and we are blessed to be here. Makaha is one of a kind. It offers the ability to accommodate all different water sports at Makaha Beach. We have your traditional longboard surfing, the semi-modern stand-up surfing or the sup, and then we go back to the real tradition, four-man canoe surfing, which is epic. We also have the more modern sub-squat surfing, which is just so much fun. And then we also have the newest version of surfing, is hydrofoil surface, both stand up and prone. And with that, we have all the variety of toys to play in them. And you know, for the canoes, you look at the wave a certain way. For the sub squats, you sit in a different spot and look at the wave a certain way. It's like each equipment has a different takeoff zone, you know, on the same day and the same wave. And at this event, if you're doing three, four events, you definitely just going all over the place. Sub squash being 17 feet and about eight inches thick. You got five people paddling in as a team is what makes it fun because the decision is pretty much made by your team and the commitment to go over the top and not knowing what's gonna happen. I think that's the fun part where the adrenaline would come in. There's a little bit of fear, I gotta admit. It's the funnest thing. It can handle giant surf to the smallest surf and you can go out there with the best paddlers or dropping in with people that uh, doesn't even know what they're getting into. But uh, they say, yeah, I'll go with you, Brian. And then he'll take them out and they'll drop down a 20 foot waves in my car. <laughs> of all the events, I think you're the most smiley. Like, it, it's just so goofy. <laughs> you're, you're, it's like, I think the sub squatch turns everybody back into like four year old kids. <laughs> you know? big maneuver you want to do is like everybody tries this 360. There's no fins on it. You drop down. Everybody tries to move to the right so it just kind of like travels along the wall in knowing that that thing is going to slide out. So the front guy gets off, hooks it around, and then the back guy goes on the opposite end and tries to pull this 360. That's like the biggest move that you could pull off. But when you pull that off, I mean, that definitely takes a whole lot of waves to learn. It's very floaty, like you float a lot because it's super thick. And so it's fun when your board's like this and you're like trying to get into the wave and then you like, whew. <laughs> we had one where we were feathering, like stuck in the air and then big drop afterwards. All you see is all my kids on the sub squats just tripping, just laughing, having fun and coming on the beach and talking story about it afterwards, you know, and you realize, man, how, how else are you going to get that sense? Unless maybe you go ride a roller coaster, but this is better. Next, more surfing action from Makaha. 
come on over to Windward Boats to experience the industry's best and most modern lineup of power cats. Ideal for Hawaiian waters and powered by Honda Marine. These boats are incredibly smooth and dry riding at any speeds. Starting at only $350 a month with as little as 10% down, we have the largest selection of power cats to fit your needs. Come visit us in Kailua or online. Windward Boats, Hawaii's power cat headquarters. Powered by Honda Marine. Hawaii is one of the most unique places in the world. The ocean is our playground and the health of our coral reefs is critical to a balanced environment. All good reef friendly sunscreens are good for you and for our reef ecosystems. What goes on your body goes in your body and into the ocean. I'm Dave Kalama. We all choose all good reef friendly sunscreens. We hope you will too. Fresh fish straight from the auction, delivered every day to Kailua. And prepared just for you. Ono grinds and good times. Come and have a good time at Nico's. Zone Media is proud to be celebrating 20 years of Hawaiian Extreme Sports TV, Hawaii's leading action sports program. 10 years of Ocean Paddler TV, dedicated to perpetuating the sport and culture of paddling. Our groundbreaking and cutting edge live broadcasts have made paddling and surfing spectator sports, showcasing Hawaii's heritage to the rest of the world. Let us help you grow your business or sporting event. However you like to enjoy the waves, whether it's canoe surfing, longboarding, stand-up paddling, or sup-squatch, the yearly Butter Mel's Waterman Surfing Championships at Makaha Beach has something for everyone. What is incredible about surfing uh, OC4 canoes is you got four friends in with you, and it's usually like four surfers or paddlers in there making this decision to take off on this wave. And when when it's great, it's great. When it goes bad, it goes bad. Canoe surfing thing is just epic. I just always think about how the best boat in the world for surfing, you know, to handle waves. And so when you're in a canoe in a wave, you're just so in awe. I mean, it's the Hawaiian canoe, man. It's like it's perfect. But you know, it's just good fun and you can do it with your friends or your family. So we had our family team, you know, and my two sons and my wife and we caught a couple good waves and uh, we're just stoked to be here. So we have uh, a canoe that's like average 23 feet, 250 pounds. I think the worst part that could happen is the canoe goes under and the Iaku's break that's holding the ama. And the, just the end itself is definitely very sharp. It's the most dangerous part of it. It's an interesting and it's actually my personal favorite of all the sports in the ocean. Um, it's a little nerve wracking as a captain because you got three other people's lives in your hand and when the canoe flips, that ama and the yakos go flying and I mean, things happen. I've had people in my canoe go in the ambulance, you know? And you know, today I had my daughter Pua Makamai, my daughter Keanu Inoue, and my son Micah in the canoe. And we got some great waves, you know? They're managing the ama, keeping the pace, bailing. You know, sometimes stuff happens and you gotta flip the canoe back over and you need them all working as a team.
Kaha Beach is one of the most unique places in the world with the families, with the knowledge that keeps getting passed down generation after generation, and the respect and love the families have for each other and this place. You know, a lot of people have a hard time understanding how much this place means to the families that live here and love this Aina, you know? And it's not an exclusive thing, but to be included in what we're doing is to come here and love this place just like us. Then you can be welcomed, you know? And it's, I mean, what a way to just hook you into it and you just want to keep doing more, you know? You ask my kids and they're stoked, you know? I mean, we're camping tonight, you know, this is, this is living. We have the community aspect. It's as strong as you're going to get anywhere. And this is what makes Macau special. You always come down here and you see a friend. You see a family. You see, you know, people that you grew up with all your life. And this is where we, this is where we congregate. And it's where we'll be. This was another great year of fun in the surf at Broda Mills. But that's all the time we have for this episode of Ocean Powder. We hope you enjoy the show. I'm Kalai Miller. Until next time, hoi pop.